Hello and welcome to the DE Cast. My name is Rob Bagby. I'm a developer evangelist for Microsoft Corporation, and this is the fifth in a multi-part series of screencasts I'm doing, illustrating the interop opportunities for for developers, PHP developers, on the Microsoft platform. Specifically, in this screencast, I'm going to illustrate how PHP developer can author and take advantage of or integrate Silverlight components into their PHP applications. Now, as you can see here from this screen, I'm using Visual Studio as my IDE. If you're an, if you're an Eclipse person, you'll probably want to take a look at Eclipse tools for Microsoft Silverlight. Uh, it's, a, it's a very rich plugin into Eclipse that provides you some, some great uh, Silverlight authoring capabilities. Uh, that said, I'm using Visual Studio here, um, and I'm using a plugin into Visual Studio called VS.PHP. It's, it's written or sold by a company called JCX Software. And I'm using version 2.6. As I go throughout this demo, I'll show you, uh, I'll, I'll talk to you about maybe uh, one of the benefits you're going to see in uh, version 2.7 of VS.php. It's currently in beta, but, uh, but I'll talk to you about the, the, the benefit uh, there. I've got to do a little bit of work manually here that I won't have to do in 2.7. Another thing I want to mention is that I'm using IIS 7 to serve out my Silverlight assets out to the, uh, out to the plugin. Um, I'm doing that because uh, I'm obviously an, an IIS guy. Um, I like a lot of the functionality in IIS. Specifically, you know, when you start thinking of Silverlight apps, you a lot, oftentimes you think of things like media applications and the adaptive streaming functionality in IIS 7 is, 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 a, is a very effective way to, uh, to efficiently serve out uh, or stream out uh, video. That being said, uh, Silverlight is a client-side technology. And so the role of the web server is uh, simply to serve those assets out to the client. So that means that any web server can serve, uh, can serve Silverlight uh, applications. All they really need to do is you need to make sure that you configure that web server to, uh, to be able to serve out the appropriate MIME types. And those MIME types for a Silverlight app are uh, ZAP and XAML. That's XAP and XAML. So as long as your web server can serve those out, you can host, a, host Silverlight applications. That, uh, now I got all the kind of grueling details out of the way. Let's just jump into the demo. Uh, and this, this is going to be uh, part one and part two. In part one, I'm just going to simply show you how to build uh, a Silverlight component and to add it into or to integrate it into a PHP page. In, in part two, I'm going to spruce it up a little bit and maybe create something a little more, uh, I don't know, uh, illustrative of the power of, of Silverlight. So let's go ahead and do this. And in part two, I'm also going to show you an integration, another integration point between Silverlight and PHP. So... With that, I'm going to uh, create a project, and I'm using this is a this is the vs.php plugin here. I'm creating a PHP project. And I'm going to create a local IIS project. I'm just going to call it um, PHP Silverlight, and I'm going to click OK. And uh, the template's just going to build out a little kind of run-of-the-mill uh, PHP app with a PHP uh, dot uh, ini, and you can do you know your PHP info. Uh, just to prove everything's up and running here. I'm, I'm probably going to avoid that. I've, I've done that in an earlier demo. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on my solution and add in my Silverlight component. So I'm going to go under Visual C Sharp, and I'm going to create a Silverlight component, Silverlight application, and I'm just going to call this thing, uh, I'll call Cart Controls. Because I'm going to add in, in part two of this demo, I'm going to add in a, a little shopping cart functionality. So here's the big difference between uh, VS.PHP 2.6 and, uh, and 2.7. In 2.7, you would be able to choose your specific project type of this PHP project type from this uh, dropdown. And that would allow me to create a link between my Silverlight project and my PHP web project. What that link buys you is every time you compile your Silverlight component, it'll automatically take the... the, the the compiled zap, the XAP file, whenever you compile a Silverlight component or Silverlight application, it compiles into a zap file. It'll move that zap uh, up to the PHP uh, application. And will also, if you, uh, if you check the appropriate checkbox, will actually create a, a test page for you. We don't have that capacity in VS.PHP 2.6, but in 2.7, which is coming out shortly, you will have that. So I've got to do that myself. But I think it's kind of good for me to show you how to do that because uh, if you're running 2.6, then, uh, then you'll need to know how to do this. And I'll show you how to do it in, a, in an efficient manner as well. So what I've got here is just a, a nice little Silverlight control. And uh, it's, it's 
It's going to be a pretty lame one in this demo, and I'm going to spruce it up in, in, the next, uh, in the next demo. But here, just to prove things are working, just to prove my Silverlight component is running, I'm just going to add a text block and set some text equal to, I don't know, this demo is lame. And then let's just set the font size to something we can read. So let's set that to 32. And you can see that in the kind of design view or the preview view, you can see that that's what it's going to look like. So that's all I'm going to do for this component right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and rebuild this solution. I'm going to hit Control Shift B, which for Visual Studio is to uh, is to rebuild, which is uh, to compile. And uh, once I'm all uh, once I'm all rebuilt, what I'm going to do is take a look inside of my Silverlight uh, inside of my Silverlight project for the compiled ZAP file. So let me go up here inside of my Silverlight uh, project, I'm going to click refresh and I'm going to show all files. And I'm going to scoot down here into my release because I didn't have debug symbols and you can see this cartcontrols.zap. That is the compiled uh, Silverlight application. I can simply right click on this thing, copy it, and paste it up into my Silverlight app. Let me just go ahead and uh, create a folder for that. We'll just call it client bin. And I'm just going to paste it right there. Now I've got my Silverlight component inside of my uh, inside of my PHP web, and remember I told you the web just needs to be able to serve this out. Well, uh, IIS seven by default can already serve this out, so we're already set up to serve this thing out. All I really need to do is to essentially add in the client piece of this thing. So. Inside of my Silverlight app, they created a test page for me. It was an HTML page, but I can use all this HTML in my PHP page. So I'm just going to copy this over down to my index.php, which was the little sample page that was uh, created in my PHP project. Now let's do this. Let's uh, let's do something to prove that PHP is running. So I'll do an, maybe an echo uh, PHP is running. And so we're good there. Now, down here, I'm just going to paste in all that HTML. Now, the real net net of what I pasted in here is this object control. That's really, uh, that's really our Silverlight component. And you can see one of the parameters is the source, which is this cartcontrols.zap. I need to actually change that to client bin slash cartcontrols.zap. And it, essentially, I'm just pointing it, hey, where is my, uh, where is my source? There's also some additional uh, JavaScript out here. Um, and, and some styling to help things go, but this is the real cr crux of, of what I've got. So I'm going to save this off, and let's go back here and just make sure that my index.php is my start page, and I'm just going to run this application up. So I'm going to click, uh, click uh, Run, and you can see, you should see PHP is running, and this demo is lame. And so you, you, we've really proven that uh, we're running PHP side by side with my Silverlight component. So that's that's all well and good. I want to show you one other quick uh, one other quick uh, piece here. Um, if you're using VS.PHP uh, version 2.6, you don't want to copy every time you compile. You don't want to copy this zap file into uh, into your uh, client bin. So I've actually got a little. Uh, I've got a little build step that uh, you can use inside of Visual Studio that will do that for you. So I'm going to right click on my Silverlight project and, and click Properties. And I'm going to go into Build Events and I'm going to add a post build event. And I'll show you the first half. So if you're watching the video, you can, uh, you know, kind of read this and copy it in. And then there's the second half. And all we're going to do is after we build, we're going to copy this uh, zap file from here into here every time. So let's save that. You can kind of prove things work by just deleting this zap file here. Let's remove that. Actually, I should have deleted that, but let's compile again. Control Shift B. And let's uh, refresh everything. Show all files. And you can see that that zap was recreated there. So I hope this was helpful to you. In part two, I'm going to spruce this up and maybe show you something a little more potent and a little more powerful uh, Silverlight component and some integration between, uh, between PHP and that Silverlight component. So thank you very much.